Today on the Platinum Patrol, we have a game from the Wrathfire King Hanj up against P, because I don't know how to say this guy's name. So, we have a Protoss versus a Terran. Perhaps this Terran will not make the mistakes of his predecessors that we saw in the Imbalance video we released the other day. I am not convinced, though. Pakiri, we're calling him Pakiri. He says GLHF while sending an SCV. So he's either proxying or he thinks that his opponent is cheesing him. This looks like a proxy. The King Hanj says GLHF back, making his gateway. This could also just be a weird scout. We'll see. King Hanj is looking for something around his base. He doesn't see it. But this SCV is going to go scout him. The information war has begun. Making a barracks back at his base. And he looks like he's just making SCVs. Looks like this Nexus is under attack from the SCV. Took 10 shield damage. And then attacks a probe. This is a very worthwhile investment of their time from both players here. Mostly just the Terran player. Because no idea what he's doing attacking the Nexus. King Hanj is going to go see something, since there's no wall yet. He actually gets to go into the base. He decides not to anyway, because he's going to block the command center. Even though his opponent's 150 minerals short, he's faking him out into making him block a command center that's not being built. Looks like he's going to get it now. This probe doesn't have enough health to stop it anymore. And the King Hanj will leave. This probe is still chasing this SCV. Perhaps the scouting probe will get it. This probe killed an... What? This probe killed the SCV building the command center somehow. Um, did not expect anything to happen here, which is why we left the screen. But apparently, the 5 HP probe beat the 45 HP SCV. Because the SCV didn't stop building. Alright, that was intelligent. I can see we're in a good game today. This probe's waiting for the Nexus to finish. I'm not sure how it's gonna, long it's going to wait. And there's a Reaper in the base. Does the King Hanj have his Adeptor Stalker ready? Looks like his Adept is going to be ready soon. Probe's running away from the Reaper. And it appears this Adept... Oh, the Reaper gets the probe. All these probes are running around now. <laughs> I'm not sure that was necessary. He gets a panic button. And then the Adept will chase away the Reaper. This is an interesting game so far. There's a tech lab first. Okay. Alright, I'm not sure this Terran... I feel like this guy might be like playing random and just got Terran for the first time ever or something. Because this is really weird. And I'm not sure he knows what he's doing. We got the armory... Or the... There, the factory going on to this tech lab. Is he going to start a tank? Or a cyclone. He gets a tank. Okay, so this is a tank first build. That's interesting. This SCV is looking at his job. He's like, I built this. I built this building. I don't have to work now. No mining for me. He's hiding behind it. I heard that's how it works in real life too. You just like make the company and then you don't have to work at it. it just stays there forever. Oh, looks like someone caught him and he went back to work. Adept finds another Reaper. Looks like he's going to get it. That's pretty nice. Unless he jumps off a cliff somewhere. Could have, um... Grenaded it towards himself, but he regenerated enough HP to survive, it looks like. So that's going to live. This tank's over here. Sieging up next to the orbital. At least he has orbitals. I was worried we weren't going to see those this game, based on the beginning. King Hanj is getting some gateways. He's got Twilight Council. Looks like he's getting Blink. And probably going to make some stalkers then and maybe attack his opponent. This stalker is, uh, I'm not sure if this is stuck. It probably isn't stuck. But, uh, it looks pretty close. No, it's fine. Got a nice little position there, though. This probe has been injured. Now it's hiding. Reaper comes back here into the base. There's a stalker waiting for it. He's just scouting, so he's going to see the robotics. He's going to see the an upgrade on the Twilight Council. Let's see what he thinks it is. Well, he clearly doesn't think it's charge, because he's making three siege tanks and one marine. 
So he probably thinks it's Blink, he's saying tanks in position. That's assuming this guy's actually thinking and not just making something up as he goes. We'll, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt for now. Looks like King Kong is getting some pylons. He doesn't want to be supply blocked since he just got supply blocked and now he's building four pylons. So it doesn't happen again for a while. We'll have to look at about 40 supply, or 32 supply if he makes another four pylons. He's getting some stalkers. So Death's gonna scout the base, finds two tanks, three tanks, then dies. There's a bunker going up. So he's bunker fortifying his natural, but also taking a third. I'm not sure how he's planning on defending the third if he gets attacked, because he's investing a lot of defenses over here. And these three tanks can't really... Well, they could move over here, but there's like any number of zealots tanking their damage. They will not do very well. Also, there's a cyclone here. And a missile turret. I guess he's afraid of the, um... Blink attack that's apparently coming. So that's good. At least he knows that's happening. We'll have to see if it... Actually, enough, because I'm pretty sure they can just blink over here and not be in range of the missile turret. And then, um... I'm not sure what he's gonna do. Because he just has to move three tanks into his base. We'll have to see how it actually unfolds here. We have a prism. Got some stalkers. Planetary being built. That's how you know they really want to defend themselves. They built a planetary. Got a missile turret. Where's the sensor towers? I heard those are next. Alright. Got the blink. Takes out the psycho. Takes out the missile turret. Well, that was a really good defense. He knew this was coming, and his defense was just not good. Not a good plan, rather. Like, one SCV goes down. The big boy Thor is here now. These tanks are going to do a lot of damage. Two stalkers, three stalkers, four. Well, he probably wants to blink out now. Uh, a lot of economic damage. Not necessarily in the SCV kills, although he did get four, but all these SCVs stopped and went to repair. The missile turret's back. He's going to try and stop this again with the missile turret and the Thor this time. I'm not sure that's going to work. In the meantime, King Hodge has got his third Nexus up. He's researching charge now, probably because he saw how many tanks his opponent had. He's getting a disruptor. And looks like he's getting a drop now with the zealots. And then probably a warp in. This Nexus is finishing up. Probably see a probe transfer. Real exciting gameplay. Just watch them move the probes around the map. This is, might be going to the third. Actually, does the Flat Patrol know? He doesn't know the third's here. He probably assumes it's there, but he probably doesn't know it's a planetary yet. So this is going to be interesting. It looks like there's a missile turret, and the three zealots attack the planetary. Is this a distraction? Actually, two zealots attack the planetary. The third one jumps stays in the transport and blows up. That's a fourth command center now. This guy is getting a lot of command centers. Got a missile, or a, not a missile turret, a sensor tower here. Looking everywhere. The Plat Patrol has not transferred these probes yet, so we don't get to see that exciting gameplay. See, need to transfer these? Yeah, I could transfer some of these too. Probably one, oh there we go. He's moving some of the probes around now. The Terran player is getting high sec auto tracking. I'm sure that will help out defending against these warpins and blinks. Probably for the planetary, maybe. Is there a Neo Steel frame coming too? There's a lot of stuff coming here in this game. A lot of upgrades and not too many units. Getting four factories built. It'd be nice if there's some units coming out. He's only got the two Thors and three tanks. There's a lot of widow mines. So this is like the real mech army where it's Widow Mine Tank Thor. Interesting. Have to see how effective that is. This is another planetary. Nope, this one's a third orbital. The Plat Patrol is getting up his fourth and fifth bases now, simultaneously. And it appears that not much is going to be happening this game for a while. Both players just want to take the bases and collect their money. Yeah, Neo Steel Frame is done, so these planetaries are going to be as strong as possible now. It looks like he's moving across the map. He's got two disruptors. We'll have to see how they do. There's one big marine here waiting in his little mech suit. He's going to defend this attack by himself. Sensor tower goes down. 
this SCP's like, if I don't move, it can't see me. And apparently he's right. This Thor is fighting the army. The Thor loses. The SCP tries to hide behind a mineral patch, but that doesn't work. This SCP runs over to prepare it or something and dies. And here goes a lot of window mines. If these all burrow, one disruptor shot will blow them all up, and that'd be pretty funny. Yeah, that's about what I expected to happen there. Not the best plan from our Terran player. Pretty sure he just lost 8 Widow Mines. No, he lost 11 Widow Mines. Alright. Well, that was an effective engagement. I don't have much hope for this Terran player this game. I'm not sure what he's doing. And I don't think he knows what he's doing either. At least there's one Widow Mine left. One survived the uh, Disruptor shot. So we put the sensor tower up here now because when we put it down here, it got killed. So now we put it back here so that it doesn't die, but it also can't see the army coming until it's already here. The only thing it stops is like a prism from this direction. I think it's the only thing it's going to see. These tanks and planters are still all we've got. Getting upgrades, getting two more factories. Okay, he has how many factories? Like seven, eight factories? No. He's got like nine factories, but he doesn't have any units. He's just building factories instead of- are these more factories? He's gonna have 12 factories, but he has less than 12 units. Alright, maybe it's 20 units, but he's got like nothing. <laughs> he's building factories instead of actual units. Sorry, the factories can fly at the enemy and land on them, that's how he's planning to win his battles. Zealot's coming across the map, the Plat Patrol's getting more bases. Well, he had these bases, now he's getting them saturated and getting the gas. Probably just wants the gas. And then transfer his workers when he starts mining out. What is he going to get? Staying his upgrades, getting air upgrades. Maybe we'll see some air units. Since the Terran basically just has a lot of tanks and widow mines. And Thor's, they don't really move around very quickly. Three depots coming up. Is he supply block? Yes, he is. He's getting close to maxing out though, because the Plat Patrol has a, a 2,000 mineral bank and not enough gas, probably what these bases are for, although he's getting the minerals instead of the gas. Probably want to get the gas here in this case, since that's what you're missing, but we'll see. These poor zealots have been waiting here for a little while now. Maybe they will attack soon, and all right, this is a very interesting sensor tower. I have no idea why he thinks this will live. Because it shows up on your opponent's map, too. So I'm pretty sure Zealot's going to walk down here and kill it. Oh no, the SCV's going to attack. He's going to attack the Nexus again. This time he's going to get it. Oh, he's attacking a probe. Weak. Go for the Nexus. This is our sensor tower. There's sensor towers everywhere. This is a missile, this is a missile turret. Okay. These sensor towers are just going to die. This base is getting fortified, it looks like. Cannons. I'm not sure why the Plat Patrol hasn't killed this sensor tower. Maybe he thinks an army built it with some kind of all-in, maybe? I guess that's possible. He's getting his carriers. Getting his carriers, getting his carrier upgrades. Level 3 weapons for the mech and Infernal Pregniter is coming out. I feel like this Infernal Pregniter should be... Don't want to do this attack without it. Because it helps out so much against the Zealots. You could still do the attack. The question is, are four Thors and like 15 Widow Mines enough to stop the carriers? Probably depends on the Widow Mines. It'll be really funny if they just burrow and the interceptors fly over and has all only dies to the Widow Mine shots. That disruptor hits pretty good. Come the Widow Mines. And there's a lot of damage on both armies from those shots. Looks like only the Widow Mines survived their attack since they can't hit themselves. Everything else blew up. They did kill a lot of interceptors, but also all the tanks exploded. Oh, the disruptors are here. He remembers the last time, and he runs. I'm not sure what the Terran's plan is after this. He saw that engagement. Of course, he's building more factories. What else would he do? See, if you don't if you don't have if your units all die, it just means you don't have enough factories. And this guy's factory man here. What do, what do we have? 17 factories! I'm not sure what the point of that is. I guess if he queues up like a bunch of tanks and Thors, he could remax his army 
by putting one unit on every factory, and it's way less work that way. And rebuild very quickly. It's very interesting. The center tower does die. The one closer to his base has not died yet. This one's clearly just faking him out. And he's taking his base way up here in the top. His opponent also taking another base. It looks like the carriers are moving out. Probably to go take out this missile turret, or um, sensor tower. Look at that, it goes down. The uh, trades this game have not been very good from our Terran player. The Italians run across the map to harass. Although I'm not sure why he's fly running this way. If he saw the sensor tower just die, he should know there's an army here. Which in fact there is. There's so many widow mines here and they all burrow. There go a lot of interceptors, but not all of them. And here come the disruptors. Maybe they'll get a shot off again. How many is this getting? Oh, that one overshot a little bit. Just got two. And everything runs away. Oh, the mama ship's here. Now what will the Terran do? We just watched another time when the mines died of that shot. Looks like our Terran. Oh, six Thors. This is not going to work, my friend. As much as you want it to work, you have level 3 weapons and no armor upgrades, so these interceptors will destroy you. Because you didn't get any armor upgrades. Which you should definitely be getting. Oh, here we go. We got 20 more Widow Mines in production. Along with 4 Thors. I'm not sure what the point of this is. This Nexus took a lot of damage to these uh, two Hellbats here. But these Stalkers will save it. It's not like he was mining from it or anything anyway. Here comes the big Protoss army coming across the map. Has this dude built any more factories? I feel like I should be keeping track because I think that's all he's making. He scans the carriers. Will he reposition or counterattack? Looks like this missile turret dies. Killing these factories probably doesn't even matter at this point because he has so many. Some stalkers come back to the back of the army. Do some damage, the Thors will take them out. These Widow Mines all going to burrow? Well, that Disruptor took out like another six after carriers destroyed most of them. Oh no! The Missile Turret got an Observer. Fascinating. I must say, I don't know what the point of this game is. Why is, he, why is this guy still in the game? He's making 17 more middle Widow Mines. His Thors were transforming so they couldn't get any shots off. I guess I hit like one or two carriers. That's not great. Uh, SCVs are trying to mine again. Are they all going? Yeah, they're all going back. They're all dying. These little mines take out some more interceptors, but that's about it. Ooh, the disruptors are here in the widow mines. It goes another nine or so. I don't know what the point of this army is. It clearly has not worked yet. Oh, unfortunate that that one didn't. The shot stopped moving there. Widow Mines turned around. The Plat Patrol is like, you know what? I have every base on the map. Let's just build cannons everywhere. And shield batteries. My opponent can't do anything. And his opponent can't do anything. Oh, these two Widow Mines might get something. Look at that. We got two Stalkers. Very impressive. And now they're good. But it's alright, because he's got another 20. He has no money, though, for his 17 factories. Actually, he lost some. What's he at now? down to 15 factories. Alright, hopefully this is the last fight in our player puts the game. Interceptors, they actually, where the Widowmines actually hit the carriers that time, but they don't kill any. And these Widowmines go down, another disruptor shot in the middle, takes out a few of them, but they're dying so fast so even without the disruptors, because he has no armor upgrades. The Thor shoots at a disruptor, the disruptor runs at the Thor. The Thors are here, they're shooting. There's almost no interceptors left, apparently. Still very low. I guess he just didn't have launched them. Some of them are low, some have some left. How many interceptors have died this game? 203 interceptors have died. And that's... Not much else has died. Alright. Why... Why are we doing this? Some Widow Mines here. What is this... Terran looking at? Okay, he's just looking at his widow mines. Let's just watch his perspective to get an understanding of why he's still in the game. Oh, he sees carriers. 
He throws the widow mines. That was actually pretty good interceptor shots right there. But it doesn't matter because he has no money. Yeah, these seven interceptors will do better than the 15 you just had. Oh, look, you got some more. You know, my theory is this guy somehow like got the war chest and he's just trying to get EXP. And he sees all the EXP globes coming out of the uh, interceptors. Like, I got a whole bunch of experience from this. I'm leveling up my war chest. But uh, that's not how it works. Winning the game is better. <laughs> he's looking at all his SCVs without working. He's sending them to mine somewhere. He's got 36 of them here. Now, if we quickly look at the Plat Patrol, where's his army? Oh, it's coming in. Is this guy going to be ready? Got a little mind. He's got them all together. Our army be and looks like he's about to take a fight. He sees a circle from the mothership, Time Warp. The real question is, it'll be hilarious if this guy just, like, doesn't have a drilling clause. He does, though. He does. Of course he does. And that disruptor kills... Ooh, that's a lot of Widow Mines that died. Alright, I think we're done with this guy's view because I don't think his perspective on this game is useful. Because I don't think he understands it. But he's got this base, though, so he's mining. So we can't leave the game yet, I guess. The Plat Patrol is probably super bored right now because there's nothing for him to do. He's maxed out. Probably just waiting for his interceptors to rebuild, but they're back now. And all oh, these three zealots, they're coming in. They're going to take out the sensor tower. They're joined up by the fourth zealot who flanked the tower. Advanced tactics. Here comes the Widow Mines. There's two Thors now. And two Hellions. Yup, this army will definitely beat the carriers that have been killing every army you make all game. And you still don't have any armor upgrades because you don't actually care if your Widow Mines can take any damage. So when uh, Terran players complained about the Protoss death ball late game with all the carriers and the mothership, that's this army. It's all the carriers and just the mothership, just like massing carriers. But uh, I don't see the point of this army. The objective here is to do what? It looks like the Thors are shooting at interceptors. The Widow Mines are coming in here. That just blew up a bunch of stuff. And this one's going to blow up another bunch. So many Widow Mines are dying to Disruptors. This guy doesn't realize that either spread the Widow Mines out, kill the Disruptors, or not make Widow Mine Thor as your army. These Thors actually die really fast to the carriers too. Again, because this guy has no armor upgrades. Look at this. The Thors should be able to tank way more damage than this, but they don't have any armor. This one of mine unburrowed. It's like, nope, I'm going back down now. I see units. Oh, and there goes another eight. Oh, he finally realized the game's over. This game's been over for like 15 minutes. Good disruptor counter. I think that's more on the Terran player than the Protoss for the disruptor shots because he just let everything sit there. 